Today we're taking a bus to a train to a gondola down 580 stairs into an ice cave. Oh, and then climbing back up. <laughs> you got it, babe. This is you got the it. greatest physical challenge of my life. Well, that seems... No. You got it. We're Heath and Alyssa. After RVing all over America, we came up with a dream of RVing all over the world. In this video series, we're RVing across France with our three-year-old daughter and our one-year-old son. We are going to an ice cave today via a cog train. I don't know why I have the trouble. The level of confidence is really inspiring. <laughs> today we are going to an ice cave via a railroad in the mountains of France. Also, this is what it looks like when we're eating breakfast here in the rig. Wow. Ellie, see the bus yet? The great thing about the campground that we're currently staying at in Chamonix is that it is a one minute walk to the bus stop and our campsite includes tickets so we can hop on the bus all day long while we're in Chamonix and go into town and not have to worry about parking our RV and everything which is always a big stress whenever you're driving a motorhome around a new city. Everything I've read and heard about Chamonix, it seems kind of like an adrenaline junkies play place. Just walking around the town yesterday, we saw tons of people on mountain bikes. Everyone was wearing hiking gear, like they just got off the trails. You can jump on one of several trams and go up to the top of the mountain. You can actually ride over the mountain and go into Italy on the tram for a few extra dollars. So of all the things to do here, we're going to be doing one of the more tame things today with the kiddos, but still going to an ice cave on a cog railroad. Sounds pretty awesome. LA sharing your pastry with me. It was really for me. I got stolen. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. This is our train. Big jump. had a slight fear of heights I think being on things like this it's not the heights that about okay no, I just look down it is the heights that bother me uh. for sure it's also the sudden stops <laughs> every couple minutes but we got up to the top of the train ride it took like 20 minutes immediately hopped on this gondola and we we're headed to the ice cave yeah not really sure what to expect but wow oh, these views stuck. are insane is it pretty yeah yeah are you scared at all no no. Do you want to let go and come over by Mama? No. Let's go. Let's go. Looking across the canyon right now, the waterfalls don't look that big on camera, but you can just hear them over everything because it's so quiet. They did tell us if you're ever planning on walking down to the ice cave from the gondola, there are a lot of steps. No, they didn't tell everyone that. <laughs> I would have worn different shoes if I know. Alyssa does this thing every time we go on adventures where she acts surprised that she needs regular shoes. She what just, just wears regular about? shoes all the time. What are you talking about? This 
is how big the glacier was in 1985. You can barely see it right now. We've seen this in a lot of countries around the world where they mark like how big glaciers used to be. It's depressing. 1990. I'm so proud of you. Twenty ten. Twenty fifteen. Wow. I guess that's the glacier. If that's an ice cave, that's gotta be ice. We're about to walk into the cave. Which after seeing all the different signs about the melting glacier, doesn't make me feel all that confident to walk into was clearly the remnants of a melting glacier. It's significantly colder I when you walk over here. I felt it immediately. Wow. <laughs> Trying not to think about the fact that we're walking through a giant glacier right now because I don't want to freak myself out. But this is really cool. <laughs> We're at the age where everything we've been describing to Ellie is some kind of Disney character, so we told her that we're currently at Elsa's castle. It's believable. Yeah. This is insane. <laughs> you guys wanna have a nice dinner over here? Come on. <laughs> I've always thought that like Ike's hotels and things would be like a really cool thing to do. Um, now that I'm in here and feel the temperature, I'm like, <laughs> this checks that off for me. But to see like Tables and chairs made out of ice. This is crazy. <laughs> what if this was your house? I'd be cold all the time. Not sure what I expected to see in an ice cave, but there's defined rooms, there's a fake fireplace, there's chairs, there's thrones over here. <laughs> this is crazy. Worth all the steps. 30 bucks. Okay, that was cool. That was really cool. <laughs> MVP. MVP. <laughs> Why is MVP? Because mommy's an MVP for carrying Eli. You got it, babe. Ooh. One perk of traveling with kids is that a hike turns into a double workout because you get to carry the kids back. <laughs> Positive thinking. How about thinking? <laughs> After this, we're gonna go get a delicious cheeseburger with some french fries. Uh -huh. And what else, Ellie? And a lollipop. And a lollipop. So we've been craving one since 8 a.m. I want a pink lollipop. A pink lollipop. You got it, babe. <laughs> You got it. The greatest physical challenge of my life. Well, that seems. No. You got it. No, he's a big boy. <laughs> glaciers and waterfalls and mountains <laughs> and rocks and cliffs that you could fall off of.